Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you how I'm going to make a collapsible catch pole. Um, <clears throat> I have two, two uh, sections of one inch uh, aluminum rigid conduit um, and I cut these at two and a half feet so when they're put together it'll be about five foot long. Uh, I have one eighth inch uh, aircraft cabling. Uh, you could probably get away with 332nd but this is two cents more expensive per foot so um, I went with this because it'll probably last longer take more beating if you get a coyote around the neck and uh, and they're fighting pretty hard you might um, you might bend that other stuff or kink it or whatever so I think this is better uh, you know I only got 10 feet of that which I'm probably not going to end up using 10 feet but um, that's what I got um, I also have some ferrules uh, for the 1 8 inch cabling and some stops so the last thing I have is this uh, clothesline tightener that's what they're called um, so I'll show you how this works it, if you pull this and insert your your cabling into here into the front of that uh, it comes out the back and you let that go and it, and it holds pretty tight you can pull on this it's not going anywhere when you pull on this side, it tight, it keeps tightening. Um, but again, you pull on this, doesn't go anywhere until you release this stopper, and then you can pull it back through. So this is the key to the whole system is the clothesline tightener. And uh, it just so happens these fit almost perfectly down in the, in the end of that. So uh, I got some JB Weld. I'm gonna JB Weld that in there. Um, run the cabling through and uh, I'll show you how I assemble it to the front of the catch pole All right, so first thing obviously you want to do is cut your uh, Aluminum conduit um, you can use a hacksaw you can use a, uh, a Sawzall, but I used a, a Bandsaw with a metal cutting blade so that worked really well it buzzed right down through it and uh, it Finished it off in no time. So you're gonna want to do that um, and then the next thing that I did was uh, I took this file and I just kind of reamed this out so that there's no sharp edges on that. Um, so this is going to be the end with the loop on it. So what I'm going to do is just drill a hole uh, about a half an inch from the end here. Um, and this is uh, just a little bit larger than one eighth inch hole. All right, so now you got your hole drilled in there. Um, you're just gonna simply put the, the cabling through until, until you have a little bit left on this side. Uh, then you're gonna take one of your stops, put it around there and, and basically just hammer this down, so. All right, so basically next step is you thread uh, the other end of your cabling through your tubing uh, or your pipe and um, so you have a loop. And you wanna make sure your loop is big enough for whatever you're gonna use it for. If you're gonna use it for coyote, make sure it's big enough for that. Um, and then you take it to the other side and you can see I have some a tail hanging out here. Uh, now, basically my next thing I'm gonna do is uh, insert this. So I want to put the cabling in there before I do anything so that it's easier right now uh, to put the cabling in like that. Um, and then uh, I'm gonna mix up some JB Weld and JB Weld that in. Alright, so um, you're going to want to be careful, uh, you don't want to get any uh, JB Weld on your cabling, um, so just be careful when you do it, 
and just apply it across this surface here. Alright, so once you get it on there, uh, pretty, you want to use quite a bit and then just kind of spin it in there and seat it in there. And you can uh, you can cut this off if you want, um, but I don't see why. Some people would, I guess. Uh, I don't see why. You can use it as a hanger later. All right, so that's gonna need to sit and cure for uh, about 24 hours. All right, so I did end up just pulling this off. It's just kind of in there like that and you can get pliers on it and open it up and pull it out of the holes it's in um, it makes it a, a much night it was just getting in the way and uh, it makes a much nicer um, finish on there you, I think it's gonna be stronger anyway so you can seat it deeper um, and I'm gonna end up putting a handle on this end so I think it was gonna get in the way of the handle um, but I'll get to showing you how to make a, I'm gonna make a handle on the lathe so uh, I'll show you how to do that also. All right, so uh, I have a piece of cherry that I cut up for firewood, and I took one piece of it, sealed it up, and uh, used it to make this. This is a meat stomper for um, my meat grinder. We didn't have the right plunger for it, the right diameter, so I just ended up making one out of wood out of this cherry that I had. So. Um, Anyway, you can watch one of my previous videos on how I seal the wood. Um, go check that one out. But I'm going to end up using this cherry piece for my handle. Alright, so uh, all I did was take that larger piece, cut it on the miter saw, uh, flipped it around, and actually cut it again on the miter saw. So, um, I'm going to use this piece, and this is going to be the easiest way to do it. Uh, I'm going to take it, just put the corners in uh, my chuck where the, there's holes, there's slots open in the chuck, tighten that down. That should get it pretty close to, uh, that should get it pretty close to rotating uh, round. Alright, so that's rotating pretty round right now. I want this to be right up against almost touching that I'm gonna turn this up a bit and I'm just gonna lightly start going into it try to make it try to round it out a bit Alright, so I got it rounded out. Um, now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get it to a size that I like and uh, maybe put a little bit of kind of finger grips in there. All right, so all I'm gonna do here now that I got the shape out, I'm gonna drill a hole straight through it so I can fish the uh, cable through, put a stopper on the other end, pound that closed, and that'll be my handle. Uh, I might sand it a little bit after that, but um, that's the plan, so here we go. All right, so now all I have to do is just kind of sand that up because that chipped out a little bit, but 
uh, sand it up and cut it off. Alright, so I finished this up, um, sanding the handle and everything, so now I'm just going to apply some finishing coat to it, and this is, uh, I'm just going to use boiled linseed oil, I figure an oil is, I mean, this is going to get real oily and dirty anyway, I, I don't feel like putting polyurethane or anything on it like that, so I'm just going to put boiled linseed oil um, on it. Alright, so I put the boiled linseed oil on it, and uh, that, that should protect it quite a bit, but uh, I'll probably, it'll probably get banged up, bruised up, but uh, I'll probably have to maybe reapply some more oil at some point, but pretty much ready to be put on. So um, anyway, all I'm going to do is slip it on here. I have the loop size that I want at the end uh, pretty much, so this is all cured up. Um, so all I need is the stopper and... Throw it on right about there. Snip off the end of this. And I'll probably, I'm probably gonna end up, uh, I might mix up a little bit of JB Weld and put it around here just so it's not as sharp and jagged. Alright, so I wanted to show you I added this protective sleeving. It comes on the uh, end of the threads when they ship them so they don't damage them. Um, so I just cut a little slot in there right where my cabling comes through and fed the loop through it and just pushed it on the end of the piping so that it will probably protect my uh, cabling a little bit and protect my piping from when the cabling keeps sliding in and out. Um, Anyway, not necessary, but you can go ahead and try that if you want to. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how it works. I'm going to throw it over the, the vise here. And then just pull on this case, this handle, and it tightens up, and it stays tight. So you can step on this, work with the trap, uh, do whatever you have to do. And then when you're done, ready to release the animal, you just pull on the stopper. Pull out and then release the animal, and you're done. Um, so, the other thing I wanted to show you was uh, if you just go and unscrew this, that loop gets all tangled up and it's kind of a mess, pain in the, to deal with. So, um, what you want to do is uh, pull on this stopper, and that releases the cable inside there. It's not tight in there, and it allows it to spin as you unthread the tubing. Go ahead and unthread it all the way, break it down, and you're still nice and neat. Your uh, loop isn't all twisted up. And then when you spin it back together, do the same thing. Just pull on that stopper and make sure it's spinning inside, the cabling spinning inside there. So there you have it, a collapsible uh, catch pole and pretty cheap. So go ahead and make this if you want to. Uh, Throw me a like on this video and uh, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this where you're making cheap, cheap trapping stuff or whatever in general uh, stuff for outdoors. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos.